what is good horror horde this is your boy horror gamer back with another video for you and as you can tell by the title of this video this is my time of month this is the time of month even though it's a little late this month this is the time of month i enjoy because as you can see by the title of this video this is another horror gamer unboxes what are we unboxing well as you can tell by the title we're unboxing February's Horror Pack. I took a break on unboxing January's Horror Pack. Um, it didn't come until super, super late. So I was like, eh, you know, whatever. But we're right back into it. This is a once a month thing. And it's like I said, this is one of my favorite times of month. Because if you don't know what Horror Pack is, Horror Pack is a service that you subscribe to. Where every month, you can either pay $25 and get four Blu-rays. Just like that. Four Blu-rays just like that. Or you can pay, I think it's $19.99, and get four DVDs. And sometimes you get a fifth because one of the Blu-rays or DVDs is a double pack. You can't beat it. It's a good deal. It's four Blu-rays for $25. Bucks. You can't beat that. So, without further ado, <clears throat> after this video, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to go uh, check out your own horror pack. Maybe subscribe to it yourself. Uh, definitely a service that is worth having especially if you're a collector now i will warn you that as a collector you may at times get doubles so you might already own a movie and then it might come into the horror pack the next month but you know what it is what it is you know it's it's, it's four movies so and it helps build the and honestly it helps build the collection pretty quick if that's what you're looking to do so all right with all that being said horror horde let's just dive right into it i haven't I, I I cut the tape a while, you know, to open it, like, but I haven't saw what was inside yet, so let's just dive right into it and see. <clears throat> four <clears throat> four Blu-rays, I love it. Like I said, for twenty-five dollars a month, that's not bad at all. And they always come in this, like you open the box, and then it also come with this bubble wrap bag, so you always know that your your stuff's gonna be safe when you get it. So. That's another thing too. Shipping is important to me. And if they do it like this, you know, you always got good Blu-rays, you know? So, all right, I'm gonna look. I was gonna pull it out and we gonna see. <clears throat> We're just gonna go from the top and work our way down. So the first one we got is Jack Ketchum's The Lost. Unrelenting, a vicious, abrasive film. Okay. Let's see what this says. This says, a must-see, a slice of CNN pie that corkscrews down into hell. Toby Hooper, director of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hmm. This says, a relentless epic of human horror from the author of Off Season and The Girl Next Door. Once upon a time, a boy named Ray Pye put crushed beer cans in his boots to make himself taller but this is no fairy tale for suburban sociopath Ray and his friends small town life is a dead end road of sex, drugs, liars and losers and what begins with a sudden act of senselessness of senseless violence will climax in a mind blowing frenzy of depravity with the worst still yet to come. Michael Bowen, D. Wallace Stone, Ed Lauder, Megan Henning, Katie Cassidy, and Aaron Brown co-star in this controversial shocker adapted from the infamous novel by Jack Ketchum and based on the true story that stunned America. Okay, I've never heard of it. But it sounds pretty good. It sounds like something I'd watch. I could definitely get into that. Um, it doesn't... I mean, it doesn't sound much like horror. It sounds more like... Kind of like a... I don't know. We'll see. Definitely go check it out, though. I'm excited to check it out. It sounds really good. And Katie Cassidy, she's awesome. She was on Supernatural. She played uh, Ruby for like a season. So... Alright, so The Lost. Can't wait to check that out. Okay, so this is... Uh, 
This is one I thought. Okay, so it's it's called Panic. Okay, this this verse is called Panic. But if anybody knows, isn't this Satanic Panic? Like, cause this is just called Panic. But I've seen a, a movie called Satanic Panic that is literally this. Did they just change the name for Horror Pack? Somebody let me know in the comment section what, what that is. So this one's called Panic. And it says, Gory, fun, self-aware, and unique. From the author of My Best Friend's Exorcism. Sam's first day as a pizza delivery driver is not going according to plan. At the end of a long day and not enough tips, her last delivery turns out to be for a group of satanics of Satanists looking for someone to sacrifice. Now, in a fight for her life, Sam must fend off witches, evil spells, and demonic creatures, all while trying to keep her body and soul intact. Starring Haley Griffith, Ruby Moden, Jerry O'Connell, and Rebecca Romaine. Satanic Panic will satisfy any viewer's need for monsters, mayhem, and jokes. Well, that sounds like fun. That sounds like... That sounds like a lot of fun. And see, I knew it was called Satanic Panic. I just don't know why they don't have it on the front. It's just called Panic. But I've seen this cover and it has Satanic Panic on the front. But that sounds like fun. I'm, I'm actually going to watch this then. I mean, that sounds like a good time. Monsters and demons and shit. That sounds like fun. It sounds like a stupid, just turn your brain off, grab some popcorn, and enjoy enjoy the ride kind of movie. And I'm down for that. All right. Satanic Panic. Definitely going to check this one out. That sounds like fun. <clears throat> Ooh. The next one, and this looks like this is the horror pack exclusive for the month, that as well. Every horror pack has a horror pack exclusive and they're numbered. And I think I started in like the 40s and now I'm at 56, so, and this one's called Werewolf, Survive the Dogs of War, horror pack limited edition, big uh, Blu-ray. All right, let's see what this says. Summer 1945, a temporary orphanage is established in an abandoned palace surrounded by forest for the eight children liberated from the gross Rawson camp. Hanka, also a former inmate, becomes their guardian. After the atrocities, atrocities, my God, <laughs> after the atrocities of the camps, the horror returns. Wait, hold on. I lost my, I lost my spot. Hanka, also a former inmate, becomes the their guardian. After the atrocities of the camp, the protagonists slowly begin to regain what is left of their childhood. But the horror returns quickly. Camp Ashtons roam the forests around. Released by the SS earlier on, they have gone feral and are starving, looking for food. They be besiege the palace. The children are terrified and their camp survival instinct is triggered. So do they turn into werewolves, I guess? If you look at the back, it's not really like a werewolf. It's kind of like a gigantic wolf dog. So, I mean, we'll see. It sounds okay. And the one thing you gotta know with the with the horror pack exclusives, they're very, very low budget and they're very, very hit or miss. Um, there was one that I, I started watching with uh, the buddy of mine. It was called Bong of the Dead. And the first 30 minutes, I, I think I reviewed it for you guys. The first 30 minutes was amazing. It looked like it was gonna be just the, the one of the best films I've ever seen, zombie-wise, you know. It was low budget, it was gritty, it, it did all the right things. Then it took a turn for the worse. And then it just got so bad afterwards. So it ended up ruining the movie. So we'll have to see. We'll definitely check this out. Um, like I said, with these horror pack exclusives, they're hit or miss. Some of them are really good. Some of them start out good and bad. And some of them are just bad. But it is what it is. So it's, it's, a, it's a movie. You know what I mean? It's, 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 a, it's an add-on to the collection. You can't beat it. 
And then finally, we have, it's a Raven Banner Releasing Presents Yummy, Extra Yummy Collector's Edition. It says, facelifts, boob jobs, and zombies. Isn't this on Shudder? Like, I thought I, I thought I saw this on Shudder. Maybe not. But this is the DVD Blu-ray combo. It says, a tasty zombie comedy with a buffet of gory treats. It says, a young couple travels to a shady Eastern European hospital for plastic surgery. The young woman wants a breast reduction. Her mother comes along for yet another facelift. Wandering through an abandoned ward, the boyfriend stumbles upon a young woman gagged and strapped to an operating table. She's the result of experimental renovation treatment. He frees her but doesn't realize she's patient zero and he just caused the outbreak of a virus that will change the doctor's patients and his mother-in-law into bloodthirsty zombies. Yes! Yes, this is the shit I'm talking about. This shit right here is the reason I get horror pack. Movies like this. This shit sounds like a good time. It sounds fun. It looks like it's going to be gory as fuck. And it looks like it's going to be an hour and a half and turn your brain off and just watch zombies do their thing. This right here, guys, this right here is exactly why I recommend horror pack right here some of them might be hit or miss but you know what they're new brand new movies slip cases like you know i looked this up i looked this up online on amazon this goes for 14 dollars online this right here you know 15 bucks plus tax so you can't beat that you're getting this plus three other movies for 25 dollars you can't beat this this is a good 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 value i love horror pack i look forward to every month when it comes in the mail i enjoy the movies that come in it and it helps my collection grow at an astounding rate so i definitely recommend you get it but movies like this right here is why i get it because this movie sounds like it's going to be a good time so all right horror horde with all that being said this is february's horror pack Go out there and get one for yourself if you haven't done so yet. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I will leave a description and I will leave a link in the description that way you guys can get your hands on one as well. So, all right, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button along with that dingly ding ding button. That way, every time your boy Hard Gamer throws up one of these unboxings or reviews or a Hard Gamer reads or a true ghost story, that you're always in the know. And then, when you're done doing that, run on over to the Horror Gamer Patreon and see what kind of cool stuff that you get with being a patron. I mean, we just literally had movie night the other day where we just sat down and talked and had a good time for hours. We sat and talked and had a good time for hours. Didn't even turn a movie on. That's what it is. It's just, it's just fun. It's fun and it's something different. So, all right, Horror Horde, with all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you guys, and until next time, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, as always, don't fear the darkness, embrace it.